we need to make sure that we're hitting core doctrines of the faith. Not every service is going to be like some brand new thing. I mean, it ought not be. Maybe if you're brand new saved, you've never heard things from the Bible before, it's going to be all brand new. But we need to make sure we're grounded and cemented in great truths of the Bible that are very, very clear. Very, you know, We can't let our guard down and just kind of overlook things and not teach on them and not look at them and not study them and learn from it. There's a lot to learn and, and you'll be amazed at how much you can actually learn if you just think, oh, well, I already know this and just kind of turn your brain off. You're going to miss something because these great truths are very profound and very deep and usually carry a lot more meaning if you just let yourself open up your heart to the scripture and, and see. And oftentimes I've noticed um, when, I've, when I was the one sitting in the pew, there's things that would come to my mind and I would learn that weren't even necessarily main points of the sermon or even a point made in the sermon, but as you're listening and being attentive, you know, the Holy Spirit will work within you and kind of make other verses pop in your mind and, and you learn great valuable truths that way as well. So um, we're going to dig into this tonight. And one of the reasons I'm bringing it up too is because if we focus too much on any one thing, especially where there's an area of doctrine under attack, we need to make sure it's all still balanced and in the proper view. So lately, I've, you know, I've preached on the, the fact that Jesus Christ's soul went to hell, right? And that is a fact. No doubt about that from Scripture. I think I proved it very handily from Scripture that that did happen and that Jesus, was, it wasn't like he was just lounging in hell, and not experiencing anything of hell other than just, just, just being there or just preaching or something. Um, it, I think that's very clear from Scripture. But we don't want to take that point and, and over magnify something that the Bible doesn't talk a, like a lot about. Now, it's, it's definitely clear doctrine. But if you're going to compare you know, what Jesus did for us, and you look at something like his soul going to hell, yes, it's mentioned, yes, it's there, yes, it happened, and it's true. But look at what actually atones for our sin. The Bible is very clear that it's the blood of Jesus Christ that atones for our sin. And the way that we look at it is everything is necessary. Everything is required. We look at everything that Jesus did. His perfect life. His sinless life, that was, that was necessary, that was required. His death on the cross, the way that he died, that was required. His, his body being broken and, and you know, whipped and beaten and blood literally being shed for us on the cross, that was extremely important, that had to happen. His soul descending into hell, that was important, that had to happen. The resurrection, of course, that had to happen. Extremely important for our salvation is the resurrection of Jesus Christ coming back from the dead. The ascension into heaven. And what we're going to be looking at today, the sprinkling of the blood on the mercy seat in heaven. All important things that needed to happen.